Here comes Drake May in Carolina on offense. He's third in total yards per game. He's fourth in passing yards per game at just under 326. He is amazing and just really is the engine that makes this whole train go. And he's going to need some help tonight from his offensive line. This Miami defense is extremely athletic. They move on almost every snap, so Drake May understands. He's probably going to take some hits tonight. He's got to be decisive, and when the opportunities are there to run, he's got to take advantage of it. They open in the pistol with Omarion Hampton, the running back. There is pressure immediately. That might be a lateral, and now they're comfortable back there in the shotgun. 6'4", 230. Drake May has everything you'd want in a quarterback. From the Charlotte area, Myers Park High School, he threw a sinker and it's incomplete. Trying to get Tez Walker's come back. He's more of the outside receiver, but Pesor has been very versatile for this Tar Heel offense. Third down and 10. May. This is what he can do. Did he slide down too early would be the question. And I think he might have. Didn't take a closer look at that spot. Here's pressure again, and May forced to throw it away over the head of John Copenhaver's to Corey Couch, blitzing it. Hampton, the running back, three receivers and a bunch to the left. May, under duress, gets it off, and it should have been intercepted. There were two Miami Hurricanes there. It was James Williams who got fingers on it, and Jared Harrison Hunt who put the heat on Drake May and you're gonna see the offensive line kind of slide to the left and there's just a bust You can see the right guard Willie Lampkin Disengages immediately which leads to an immediate pressure from Miami defensively if not for the tip that would have definitely been intercepted 215 pounds of junior from Fort Lauderdale Carolina going very quickly. They'll mix up the tempos wide open down the sideline JJ Jones into Miami territory and banged out. They're going to mark him at the... You go vertical, May hits him for a big game. Their first completion, May's one out of five, but that one went for 47. Nate McCollum, the Georgia Tech... And they continue at a high tempo. Chip Lindsey is the first-year offensive coordinator. May, lots of running room. And he can move. And out of bounds of the 26 with an 11-yard gain and a Carolina first down. And Miami's defensive front's going to hex him and him and Willie Lampkin, two transfers, have really transformed this Tar Heel offensive line. Second and goal, British Brooks in that running back. He stayed in the block. May with a flag thrown down in the offensive line. Run down by Francisco Mutt. Second and goal from the 18. Ruben Bain, a true freshman defensive end, part of a tremendous recruiting class. They've upgraded the talent level very quickly in Miami. May throws just a little bit too far out in front of John Copenhaver, the tight end. The top in the slot. Keep an eye on number 18 in a one-on-one. -on -one. That's where May's going to go. Third down and goal. Six and a half in the quarter. And a touchdown! Tez Walker, his first touchdown catch as a Tar Heel. This week against Georgia Tech, and now Parrish, his first as a cane at a key spot. Mary is hit. Was he in the end zone? The ball came out. It was Reuben Bain who hit May. Image nearly a disaster for Drake May and the Tar Heels. Well, Kamari Morales is actually the guy that misses Bain. He's going across. He has to secure the edge and protect the backside. He does not see Bain coming around the edge. And my goodness, are they lucky? They are able to pounce on that football. What a hit by the freshman. Ruben was almost the bane of the end of May's existence with mm. that hit. Mm, well done. Good punt. Thank you. Tried my best. Probably a little too hard. To the near sideline and a good catch made by Tez Walker. Extending drives. Four receivers spread the field. Quick pop. Walker. First down to the 23-yard line. Ten-yard gain. Going to help this offense with his presence on the outside. Pressure on May. He scrambles to the right and stumbles back shy of the line of scrimmage. 
it's not been very effective up to this point. On third and seven, there's a flag thrown at the line of scrimmage. Good call to screen. Will this play stand? British Brooks across midfield. He's for 62 yards against the Tar Heels. Now third and 17, a blitz from deep, and they get there. Cam Kenchins, the tremendous safety junior from Miami out of Northwestern High School. Hey, diddle, diddle, three up the middle. That's exactly what this blitz is called. You cannot block it. It is impossible to block. The running back in the center picked up. And it's first and 10, North Carolina from its own 23, leading 7 to nothing. Start of the second quarter. And a moment ago, Molly spoke with Coach Cristobal. Coach, a costly penalty there. Prevent ourselves from making mistakes, right? Great drive, got down there. Defense is playing their butts off, some key stops. Got to settle down, play hurricane football. Thank you, Coach. Mays pass it. Third down and 11. May over the middle, caught, but short of the first down. Kamari Morales corralled at the 30-yard line. I think that might be one way they'll try to slow down the rush. Lean a little more heavily on the run after the play fake. May running for the sticks. And it looks like he has the first down. He does just across the 35 per game and lead their team in rushing. Patrick Mahomes and Johnny Manziel. <laughs> That's good company. British Brooks is the running back. They come after May again, and he fires incomplete. Good coverage by Kitchens on Bryson Nesbitt. And he makes the play. Short pass and catch. And it's J.J. Jones, the junior. 56.6% for the year on third down. Second best in the country behind only Air Force. And the pass hit his receiver, Nate McCollum. There is a full you taking one dollar right there. They, they don't have a calculator. I mean, they can't <laughs> add and subtract. Nesbitt the catch. Second and four. Oh boy. They're trying for that seam ball to Nate McCollum, and it wasn't on target. Bunch of surgeries and injuries, and he keeps getting granted additional eligibility. May. Throws it incomplete. Intended for Walker in his general direction. And again, for his last nine. It is one for one in this half. Launching it again for Walker. He has it. Touchdown. He got behind Jaden Davis. 220 pounds. And he finished his runs with guys falling backwards. Low throw. And the ball not caught by the total rush yards. With Hampton third. Look out! May got buried by Kiko Maui Noah. And you'll see Maui Noah just run right around the protection. They all slide down. It's perfectly timed. May tries to get rid of it, tries to buy a little. Third down and 20. They're not in field goal range. 10 yard loss. May behind his intended receiver, Bryson Nesbitt. Now in penalties. Pressure brought by Miami, and May just threw her at the feet of British Brooks. He didn't like that one at all. Chico, Maui, Noah, Samoa there. So they all decide to go to Miami. May shovels it away. There's another flag down in the offensive backfield. Another one of those super talented freshmen, Reuben Bain, was a menace for Drake May in this offensive line. Holding offense number 75. Ten yard penalty. Second down. And it was Bain who got held by Spencer Rollin, the transfer from Harvard in his second year at UNC. Yeah, and this is just a great move by Bain. You see him work up field and slip underneath real quickly. <laughs> and right there, Spencer Rollin. Is 48. And this would be about 50 from here. May protected well this time. And it's Walker again. Taz Walker. Third touchdown of the night. And a flag after the play. And I know.
the offensive line has had a problem holding so far, but this is just great protection. This route takes forever to develop as Tez Walker gets all the way. They're transitioning to this level of college football. May up and incomplete. Well out of bounds. Nate McCollum trying to track it. Play. It was the interception. Three plays and a punt. May has a wide open receiver in the flat. John Copenhaver escapes the tackle and finally tackled around the legs by Cam Kitchens. 12 out of 28. Walker went in motion. He's wide open in the flat. Finally, it comes out to him. Shoved out of bounds near the first down marker. He will move the chains with that 11 yard gain. Goal touchdown makes it a three score game. Under three minutes to go. May, beautiful play design. Great call. Well executed. There is a flag. Words we have said before tonight. Edge, which allows Hampton to get right out into the flag. Look at the edge get secured. You already have some eye candy on the fake reverse, which holds a couple defenders. And you throw Amari and Hampton piece of cake right into the end zone. It's just great design. Carolina takes over at its own 44. The design run for May. First down and 11 yard run. Second and six, North Carolina on the move again. They're at the Miami 40. Omari on Hampton. Shoved out of bounds by James Williams. Huge night. British Brooks, the running back. Quick screen, Nate McCollum. And it's not just Chez Walker, McCollum. Four and five on the depth chart. Uh, both want a red shirt. Good tackle, Nate McCollum dropped. He threw for 273 yards. And the story of the night, Tez Walker in his second game for the Tar Heels, six catches.